You know, great storytelling is kind of like great cooking. So tonight, while I'm sauteing these fabulous soft-shell crabs, okay, can you see those babies cooking? I was thinking about some storytelling, and, uh, you know, in a great story, you have to have a good guy and a bad guy, right? I mean, can you imagine watching a football game and the offense just drives down the field and there's no defense to try to stop them? Well, that's kind of like great storytelling. A great game is when the defense is trying to stop the offense and the offense is struggling and the quarterback gets sacked and there's a fumble and all of a sudden they pull it out in the last minute. So overcoming great obstacles and great odds and overcoming that bad guy who's trying to stop you is all about great storytelling. Think of movies like Jaws. Jaws is a pretty simple premise, right? You got the good guy who's the sheriff of the town and you got the bad guy who's the shark. And the shark has just eaten somebody and he's out there eating people all <laughs> who go in the water. And what's the, what's the uh, sheriff's job? To go after the shark assemble his team, and go kill the shark. So he's got to overcome the bad guy. So you got the protagonist, which is the good guy, and then you got the antagonist, which is the bad guy. So a lot of great stories have great protagonists and antagonist characters. Rocky's another example. Protagonist is Rocky. He gets in the ring. He's the underdog, and he wants to win the championship. And who does he have to beat? Apollo Creed, the world champ who's probably way better than him, way more athletic than him. Rocky's a huge underdog, and Rocky's got to overcome the odds and win. And in the first Rocky, he lost, but he still won because he got in the ring. So great storytelling is all about great characters. If you create those great characters, and you create that really cool good guy that everybody loves, and then you create that villain, that bad guy that everybody hates, and then the journey of the good guy trying to achieve his goal or get to wherever he's going, and the bad guy, what's his job? To stop him. It's like a great football game. So great storytelling is all about developing great characters and creating a situation where it's very, very difficult for the good guy to achieve his goal. And usually, Hollywood endings, at the end of the day, he wins. He gets there. It doesn't always happen in real life, and nowadays it doesn't always happen in great stories or great movies or great books. So since you're creating your own story from scratch, you can do whatever you want. You can become God, create those characters, live those characters, imagine those characters, picture the way they look, the way they talk, the way they sound, the way they act, and then tell that story like nobody else and let those characters breathe and create the, the adventure of a lifetime. That's all about great storytelling, great characters. Great stories, great characters. See you next time.